Farmers in Kenya have had to deal with various challenges that including high inflation and lack of cash. It's due to this that the Ministry of Agriculture is set to partner with different stakeholders in the sector to finance agricultural ventures. Our national food security challenges. And that should be a focus in financing. How might do we require to open up the fucking land? Water Principal Secretary Paul Rono in his pre-conference address earlier today expressed confidence that the discussion on agriculture financing is well-timed and will significantly contribute to the enhancement of the sector. And in another story, businesses and consumers are now borrowing more despite rising interest rates, but inflation is pushing business clients to borrow so that they can pay for more expensive inventory. We do see, of course, increased borrowing. So if you think about it, majority of consumers will actually borrow at the start of the year because of back to school, because of need to survive uh, throughout the year. According to Tala General Manager and Stella Mumbi, January recorded one of the highest loan uptake. Just by virtue of how a product is structured, then you'll find a lot of customers are selecting a due date that is aligned with their salary or when they know income is coming in. So repayments are happening at the end of the month. This, as the lender also raised concerns over the effects of the dwindling shilling on the business. For companies that, such as Tala that uh, essentially report their revenue in dollars or have foreign um, you know, parent companies, it, it does introduce a challenge. The other challenge I'd like to point out is uh, for a lot of lending companies, a lot of fintechs, they do leverage debt funding from global investors and a lot of this uh, funding is coming in, in in dollars. So if you start to think about repayment of that, then it, it means there is an, a new cost. We, all, we call it an FX cost, a forex cost. Economists have also projected lower forex inflows and global rates to keep rising, which will accelerate the depreciation of the shilling. <laughs> And finally, Zendor, a groundbreaking B2B e-commerce platform dedicated to fostering intra-trade in Africa, has officially launched its business in Kenya. The launch showcased the platform's innovative features, industry expertise, and its commitments to revolutionizing trade across the continent and unveiled its transformative approach to African business. The existing structure, our manufacturing or our B2B commerce in general, has been operating for ages in a certain way, relying on distribution networks. And it's hard for them to jump straight away into a direct trade. According to Zando Management, the firm is set to reshape the landscape of African trade by providing a one-stop trading platform for businesses to connect, collaborate and thrive across the continent. Linda Koskei K24 Business